Would you have goals for this? I do have a goal to increase the value of this airport. Uh, this is one of the best airports in the nation, so I'm going to keep its value very high. And you're involved in the 15 Now movement? Yes, I'm involved. I'm involved with the union. I support the union. Yeah. And you're not in the union now, though? I'm not in the union, but I'm supporting to get the union. Have you met Governor Dayton? No, but I, uh, I, I talked to his secretary on the phone. But I wish to meet him. Tell me a little bit about how this came about. This uh, the appointment. It came about. I've been. I applied this position when uh, my friends told me who we running for union. Then I submit my resume. This goes to the Mike Dayton's office, the government. Then he decided to give me this position. Yeah, uh, Raise your right hand. This is the oath of the commissioners of the Metropolitan Airports Commission. I agree to support the Constitution of the United States and of the state of Minnesota, and I will faithfully discharge the duties of my office to the best of my judgment and ability. Say I do. I do. Congratulations. Thank welcome. Thank you. This is very exciting. I couldn't believe that it's me when I heard my name. Then uh, second day I got a, a, a letter from the governor. When I opened my mail and I got and see I read my name, I said, oh. This is a real. This is a big victory, big victory for my co-workers and for all East Africans. I'm the first East African who get this position, and also to my district where I'm living right now. So this is great, great, great victory. And as a Somalian, the new door which I open for my community and show them that we can be something. Everybody who tries to work hard, be nice. One day you can be something. When I started this job, I started as a baggage runner. Then I became a cabinet cleaner. I went uh, lab, uh, lab and water safes. I became a ticket verifier. We used to work at the checkpoints. Then last, I became this current position, a car driver. So you can imagine from car driver to commissioner, there's a big, big, big jump. There are a lot of things going on, a lot of issues. As a commissioner, we handle this airport, and uh, our priority is the passenger who flying or coming to this airport. So, first of all, they must get uh, the service we promise to give to provide that passenger. So, I have to increase uh, the quality of customer service. Then the second step is to fight for the rights of co my co-workers who they're doing a good job but they don't get the end of pay. We're working with the minimum wage. And you can feel somebody who has a family or kids and working with the minimum wage. It's very, very, very difficult how, how you handle your life. That's why we're, why we're fighting to increase the a lot of people who are fighting for union or some of them they don't have a reliable schedules. All the people, employees, air self, Delta, whatever the company they work, they are hard workers. They're very happy to hear me about me. Yeah, they're very, very happy and they support me also. And, uh, they're ready to work with me. I'm gonna try my best what I can do all this to cover. This is my dream become true. They, uh, they told me this, this, uh, there's an open position for this uh, uh, commissioner. Then I said, uh, maybe I will be. And I applied and I put my resume and everything. Then I put my name there. This is a big opportunity. The one who appointed me, and I'm going to thank the governor, Mike Dayton, and the one who is the one who appointed me to this position. And I'm going to say thank you very much. And I wish to meet him but I didn't met yet.